What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! A Big Collectibles crate for June 2017 for you guys. So yeah, of course, uh, this is one of the Big Collectibles crates that you can get. Uh, I've talked about these before, I've opened up a lot of them. Basically, they have a monthly subscription crate, which always has whatever the newest thing is for that month. Of course, though, I believe they ship out around the uh, 18th, if I remember correctly. I think that's what Big Collectibles told me. And uh, so if there's a set that comes out after that, it will more than likely be in the monthly crate, the next monthly crate. So, in case people are wondering, and of course, they sent me this to an opening on. Be sure to check them out, link in the description. I'll even have a link to all the different crates. But also, too, they uh, wanted me to tell you guys that you guys remember the random crates. I opened up one of those, was it been a week ago? Yeah, I think it was last week. Anyway, it's not like a monthly crate, it's an actual random pack crate. Well, anyway, now they have it so it has international shipping. So, uh, right now, you can actually order those no matter where you are in, in the whole world, I guess, now, because it is international shipping. So, you guys are able to order that. I don't think it's with the monthly crates, though. They told me specifically the random crates. So, again, that will be in the description. You guys can check it out for yourself. I have a link to all the different crates. They even have Pokemon ones and, and card find stuff, too. But, anyway, wanted to tell you guys that info real quick. Let's go and see what's in this. Can't wait to see what we have here. I like opening these up just because I like random packs. I mean, it's kind of like the value cubes or the mystery power boxes and different things. I like seeing what I can get randomly. So what do we have here? Here's like a, I guess a little advertisement thing. I guess I'll show that for you guys. If you guys want to uh, contact Bing Collectibles or whatever. There you go. Let's see. First off, we have, oh, we actually have two Maximum Crisis Special Editions. Maybe we'll get something good from those. Also, we have Dolus Pack uh, Dimensional Guardians. I know, again, you guys don't like this set, and I understand that, but it is a new set, so obviously they're going to put it in one of these, just because, yeah, that, like I said, they put in the newest sets, so for better or worse, there you go. There are some good cards in this set, honestly. It's just could have been so much better. Like I've said before, honestly, it, this could have been an amazing thing. But, yeah, here's everything that we got from this month's crate, so let's go ahead and open up this mystery pack. Feels like there's actually packs in this. Might need to get scissors or something. It's always tough for me to open up these plastic like things. Oh, okay. That was actually easier than I thought. So, oh, <laughs> we have a fidget spinner. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, there we go. We have a Yu-Gi-Oh fidget spinner. Right? No, it's not Yu-Gi-Oh theme. It's just an orange one. <laughs> but, yeah, they need to make a Yu-Gi-Oh one. I'm surprised someone doesn't have one. I've honestly said a few times, too, that they should have a Beyblade. One, you know, with like the bit beast in the middle, like the old Beyblades. I think that'd be kind of fun. But uh, yeah, fidget spinner. These things are kind of neat. I don't know if they actually help people or not. They help me a little bit with my anxiety. I mean, they're kind of a little fun toy to play around with. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a crazy trend right now, too. But still cool to get one like this. I don't know if, if they're in all the mystery packs or not, but that's pretty neat. Anyway, let's see what our packs. We got another Dimension Guardians and then, of course, uh, Duel Saga. So we got Duel Saga. That's cool. I definitely wasn't expecting that. They do to make a Yu-Gi-Oh one, though, like a hieroglyphics on it. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, we have uh, Battle Fader, the Magician of Faith. That's good. Uh, Chaos Scepter Blast, uh, Dark Summoning Beast, and also Cosmic Flare. So, all holographics on that. Always a good set to get. Then we'll go with our Duelist Pack. Not guaranteed hollows in a Duelist Pack, so just so you guys know. Anyway, we have Resonator Call for our rare. Nothing else really on that. Then in we have Cypher uh, uh, and Tranger. I think that's how you say the name of that one. That's a rare. And, uh, well, that's awesome. We actually got a Neo Galaxy S Cypher Dragon. <laughs> yeah, he was a uh, super rare before. I mean, it's cool. I can actually get an ultra rare now. I guess a rarity boost. There you go. I mean, that's... I I'm trying to find kind of the, the bright spots, you know, with this set. Uh, that is kind of one of the things I was kind of happy about. But, again, if it would have had patchwork, it would have saved the set, honestly. <laughs> Just a few extra cards like that from the dimension box. It would have made more sense. But I am happy about the rarity boost. I mean, honestly... And we're going to get Blade Dragon pretty soon. I wish that would have been in this set. Another Resonator Call. That's kind of neat. Also Vrash. I do like some of the reprints too, although it's weird to see like uh, Scar Right, I think is like a common in this or something, like, or rare. Something like that, so that's kind of weird. I guess, you know, at least easier for people to get, but man, it, it just looks weird. We have Cypher uh, Twin Raptor. And also a Perform Pal uh, Ballad. So there we go, another one of the new cards, I guess, for the set. I mean, this one's pretty good. I, I like the new cards from the set, too. Like, I am after those because I think they're all really cheap, though, so basically you're better off just buying them. But uh, there's some pretty cool cards in there, too, though. Like Pendulum Fusion is in this, and then, like, uh, 
the Fright for Fusion that's in this. Uh, was it Devil? Is that his name? Something like that. Let's see, we have Cyber Angel Dakini for a rare. Got the Rank Up Magic. Well, trying to make room for everything. <laughs> and last pack. So, what can we end with? Can we end with a hollow? I can say that with this set. Let's see. Red Resonator. I wish the Resonators would have gotten a boost in rarity on this. That wouldn't be cool. And all. No hollow from this one, unfortunately. Another Vrash. So yeah, I mean, again, it's kind of tough to find too much nice things to say about that set. But there's a few good cards, I guess. But it is one of those sets I recommend just buying the single cards. By the way, here's like the promos you can get from this. We can get some more special editions. We are guaranteed a hollow in each of these. So I'm hoping that's some good luck. We have Kachi Koichi Dragon and Boogie Trap. I, I have a ton of these. Like, that's the easier promo to get for some reason. I have, like, a stack of those from that uh, unboxing. Of course, we got a weird box on that, too. Remember Zark? <laughs> kind of hope I get another one. So let's see. Zark's become my spirit card. Let's see. Dino's Howling. That's a good common. We have a Before a Pal Sky Pupil and a Sybil Nightingale. Super rare. Not bad. Running out of room on my table. Getting all the lyrical Lusunias. Got Baboon. <laughs> Let's see, a Dark Contract with Eternal Darkness. And a Penal Mucho. I, I like that card. Just that artwork is just amazing. <laughs> also a few of the Spiral cards at the end. And last one for the first Special Edition. What can we end with? Come on, Diagram. Or Zark, you know. <laughs> about the same rarity, right? <laughs> same price. Uh, Diamond Dust, and that's actually a short print. Mild Turkey. Love that card. And uh, we have a Pal Hugo Golem. And uh, some Terror uh, Fiendus. I have a lot of those. That's a good card, though. Now, for our other special edition. Maybe we can get something at least above a Super Rare. That's what I'm hoping for. Maybe we'll even get the other promos. Well, Kachi Koichi Dragon and Boogie Trap. Well, as I said that, <laughs> I thought I could see that it was Kachi Koichi Dragon again. Whatever, that's fine. At least none of the promos are tough to get, so that's definitely not a problem. And, oh, I'm sorry, I passed the rare. We have Magician's Restage and Fairy Tale Luna. So I, I thought I would just go to the hollow, I guess, instantly. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's one of the first openings of today, so my brain, I guess, is just uh, half power, something like that. Give myself too much credit. All right, next pack. What do we have? Bug signal up. Okay, Phil Focus. Have uh, Speedroid, a rubber band plane, and Supreme King uh, Gate Zero. Well, that's one of Zark's cards, at least. And then last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with, uh, like I said, some above a super rare? Let's see. These special editions aren't being kind to me at all. Was it because I was being sort of nice to Dimension Guardians? Come on. <laughs> we have DDD uh, Stone King Darius and Waterfall of Dragon Soul. So, unfortunately, just super rares from our uh, Maximum Crisis, which, man, never thought I would say that, right? <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, the, the Special Edition went too happy with those. It's kind of like the first time I got those Special Editions, too. I didn't have the best luck either. Although, we got an amazing box, so I don't really feel bad on that. But anyway, I, I did pretty good. I feel like on some of the other stuff, I mean, the Mention Guardians, I was able to at least get Neo Galaxy as Cypher Dragon. So, I'm, I'm happy about that one, just because it is a rarity boost. It does look cool to have as an Ultra Rare. And uh, Ballad. And yep, there you go. That is the uh, Big Collectibles crate for June. I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Uh, not the best luck for me on this one, uh, but it's still pretty fun to open up. Like I said, it's kind of like the value cubes and other things too. I just kind of like random openings. So for me, it's pretty fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video either way. Of course, we've got a fidget spinner, which <laughs> that is kind of funny. So I know you guys are probably sick of these. I mean, there's several YouTube videos. I should have this in the thumbnail, right? That's how I get a million views. I don't know. <laughs> I'll never be one of those YouTubers. But <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do openings on. We also do news videos and stuff too. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.